Hey guys, I wanna show you a really fast method for earning Iridium, and so far this is going to be the fastest out of the entire game. It's also incredibly easy, and I have gone through every square inch of every map trying to find something like this. And in my opinion, yeah, this is gonna be the fastest, the best, and the place where you can earn the most. There's a specific location you can go to that has kind of a hidden secret room where there's a bunch that spawns in there. And I'm gonna be showing you guys that location, but I will give you a spoiler warning. I will be showing some Maps that are later on in the game and I'll also be showing some other stuff so if you guys haven't played very much and you don't want any spoilers then definitely stop the video now. I've already posted a video on Iridium farming and that method is for the very beginning of the game. It's the best place to get Iridium if you're just starting the game and this video today is going to show you the best Iridium for later on in the game. The first video for Iridium farming and being very early on in the game puts you in the drought and there's a a Varkid area where a Varkid boss will spawn. This Varkid boss will make other Varkids and then those Varkids make other Varkids and then you end up killing like four little mini Varkids and they drop a total of like eight to twelve Iridium at a time. It's this Varkid right here called Lavender Crawley and all the other bosses everywhere even the big arena bosses will only drop like two to three at a time but for these Varkids to drop eight to twelve that is way more than you're gonna get anywhere else. Also when you first start the game you're gonna notice these purple crystals just scattered around all the maps and you go up to them and you can't do anything with them and you will be able to break them once you complete certain objectives later on in the game. These crystals will give you anywhere from like two to three iridium at a time and they're always different where they spawn. If you try to restart the game and go back to the same crystal it's probably not going to be there. They do randomize and move. So it makes trying to farm these things kind of tricky and not very efficient but I found kind of a hidden secret room that is full of these crystals that you can go in and break and every time you restart the game and go back in they're always there so you can pick up a lot really quickly so the first thing you need to do is get about halfway through the game and you'll meet this vault boss here he's called the rampager you need to kill him and then access the vault behind him when you go in there you'll be able to pick up this iridian resonator off this pedestal and this is going to go onto your arm permanently and you'll be able to go around in melee and smash the crystals and pick up the iridium then to get to this secret room that has all these iridium crystals, you need to access the map Carnivora. There's only one fast travel location on Carnivora, and you're trying to get to this location right here. And when you fast travel in, it makes you go through all of this winding area with a ton of enemies. I'll show you guys how you can get to the other side of all of this area so you can avoid all of these enemies and you don't have to mess with anybody. I'm trying to make this as fast and easy as possible for you guys. So to avoid all of this area and get on the other side you want to go into your menus and you want to fast travel to a different map you want to go to guts of carnivora carnivora and guts of carnivora are on the planet pandora and obviously you're going to have to go through some missions and be later on in the game to be able to access both of these maps when i first gained access to these two maps i was level 35. there's only one fast travel onto guts of carnivora so that makes it easy once you get into the map you want to turn right around and go back out and you'll be going into Carnivora and now you're going to be on the other side and you won't have to go through all of those enemies. You'll spawn right here at the base of this giant tank. This is the guts of Carnivora and now you want to reset where you're going to spawn into this map instead of having to go all the way back to that fast travel and go through all of those enemies to get to this point right here. We're going to take a vehicle and then go over there and trigger a new use station. Once you're in this location after exiting guts of Carnivora you you just want to turn to the left there's going to be a catch a ride station that's right here this one's the closest get into a vehicle and we're going to head over to that spot on the map that i marked i'm just going to speed this footage up here you're going to head over to that purple marker again this is going to be a new use station and once you arrive here you want to jump out of the vehicle walk up to the new use station so that it's triggered and now every time you respawn to farm this iridium you're going to respawn right here so now you want to get back in the vehicle and i will show you where this secret room is located. It's in the middle of this desert. This map is huge and just barren. Even though it's a big map, it only takes like three seconds to drive over there and you'll be going to this location right here. There's a large round building. I will go ahead and speed this up just a little bit, but yeah, it's a straight drive from that new use station and there is a catch a ride right there as well. So when you spawn in, you just grab a vehicle and head straight over here. This location also has a red chest and those respawn every 45 minutes. So you're not going to be able to farm that 
very fast. But the crystals respawn every time, and you can get quite a bit of iridium from here, and it does vary what you get. Right now, I have 349 iridium. I'm gonna go ahead and break all of these, and I ended up getting 27 this time. Sometimes I'll get like 21, 22, or even 24, but yeah, it varies quite a bit between like 20 and 40. Also, you can do this during your first playthrough. You don't need mayhem mode for this. Mayhem mode does not seem to increase how much you get every time. So right here, I break the last one, and I ended up with 3,776 iridium, and that is 27 total for this run. And now I'm going to farm it again, and I'll restart and show you how fast it actually is. So you just go ahead and quit out of the menu and hit quit game go to main menu. I'm doing this on PC. PC loads a little bit faster than console. I'm going to go back into the game, hit play, then continue. You don't have to completely turn off the game. You just go back to the main menu and then go back into Carnivora. It's going to put you at that new U station and then right next to a catch a ride. Also, you may notice that I'm sliding really fast and really far. I've got a legendary relic on that allows me to speed slide 100% faster. It's really amazing. So once you got your vehicle, you just go the the same path, head straight over here to this room, and you can see in real time how much time this takes. It's not very long at all. Once I pull up to the building, you'll see that all the iridium has respawned and you can farm it again. And I would highly recommend getting as much iridium as you can because I have gone into some boss fights with not very good weapons and I was struggling and I hadn't found very good weapons to be able to deal with these bosses. So I went over to Moxie's iridium slot machine and I was getting like legendary weapons, shields, and artifacts. And if I hadn't done that, I would still be trying to figure out how to get to those boss fights. The slot machine will give you really high rarity and then also at your level. So it's the best you can possibly get. In another video, I'm gonna show you guys how much I had to spend to get these legendaries, everything that I got, and then how to increase your chances. Also, you may want a lot of iridium if you're trying to make guns with the iridium fabricator, the gun that makes guns. And then obviously there's also Earl's iridium shop where you can spend a ton of iridium and get some cool stuff. But let me know if you guys find a better iridium farming area. So far, I haven't. And if you do, comment down below. But I hope this helped you guys out, and we'll see you next video. You know I can just self-destruct and kill us both anytime, right?